Good morning everyone, it is Sunday and I am starting a little mini vlog, my first ever vlog on this channel, I'm a little bit nervous but today is a really exciting day because we have got a cooking class, my boyfriend booked me a cooking class maybe a year ago and we're only just booking it now, it's a Jamie Oliver one and we're doing a Vietnamese street food cooking class so that sounds fun and I have been looking at the area we're going to to see if there's any nice bookshops we can go to afterwards so the hope is after we've had some lovely food we're going to go and have a little stroll and see if there are any cute bookshops around and I may even rope him into getting me a few books I've seen a really cool challenge where um people's boyfriends get them books in like 30 seconds and he doesn't reckon I can get many in 30 seconds and I'm happy to prove him wrong so hopefully we find somewhere we can do that challenge in and yeah just come along with me and have a fun wholesome Sunday <laughs>
feeling? You ready? Ready. Okay, cool. Three, two, one, go. Oh, one already. I know. Two already. That's a lot of money. Three. Four. How much time do I have left? A lot. Do I? Yeah. Five seconds. Okay, three, two, one, no. done. I gave you two extra seconds. Did you? How many is that? Oh, Five books. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm pretty happy. Fair enough. <laughs> Guys, we've got a bubble tea after all that hard work getting those books. I'm so thirsty. So I got a peach, white peach bubble tea with like some tapioca. I've never had bubbleology. I've heard it's not very good, but we'll see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. It's sweet though. I actually got three books in the end. I know I picked out five, but two of them I found on Amazon for so much cheaper. So I felt like rather than just blowing money in Waterstones, I'd get some in Waterstone and then some on Amazon. So when I get home, I'm probably going to order the ones that I didn't get. But I also saw Ruthless Bells and I was so tempted to buy it, but I just know it'll be so much cheaper in Amazon. So I'm going to wait and then get home and order them. Um, but yeah, it's been such a nice day. I don't think I've had like much clips of the rest of like the actual day, but it's been really, really nice. I don't know if we're going to end the vlog here or not. I don't think we have anything else planned for the evening. So most likely we'll end the vlog soon, unless something crazy happens in between now and going home. So it's been a few days now since that last clip that you just saw of me in the park near Waterstones. And I thought I should come and show you guys the books that I got in the challenge that Toby bought for me and also Toby bought me some books for Valentine's Day so I thought it'd be a nice way to end this vlog by just going through those books um it feels kind of weird I've not filmed in a while it was such a crazy week last week that I took a bit of a break from filming like long form content and just like focused on some shorts but I've missed sitting down and having a chat and showing you all some books and I've got a really really fun video coming up very soon and um, I managed to convince my boyfriend to read The Silent Patient so he has been reading that book for the whole month that he just finished so yeah hopefully I can get that video out soon and I've also just read an amazing book it's gonna be in my February wrap up but I'm also probably going to do like a whole video just for this book because it was that good it's probably my like top five books it is amazing so I can't wait to film that one as well because I just really want all of you guys to read it it's so good so onto the Waterstones bag this is the bag of goodies from that day and do you know what I think I said on, on that clip that there were so many books I wanted to get in Waterstones but it's just so much cheaper to get them on Amazon like some books there were like £20 for a hard book cover and I could get that for £13 on Amazon or like £10 for a paperback and then £5 on Amazon so yeah I actually haven't bought any more books because I've been spending money on trips and stuff but there are at least three more books I really want to buy so I really want to buy Ruthless Vows I think I showed you on in Waterstones I saw it and I was like oh so tempted to buy it but I thought I'd wait till I buy it on Amazon so I really want to get that soon I want to get a Ali Hazelwood book I didn't actually find one in WH Smith's so yeah I think I've seen Bride for five pounds on Amazon and normally Love Theoretically is £5 as well and so is Check and Mate. So I might pick up one of those, maybe even today. Um, so yeah, I want to buy those books soon. Oh, and I also really want to buy, is it The Atlas Six? But I've heard mixed things recently about it, so we'll see. 
but the books I did pick up in Waterstones. So I got Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber and I cannot wait to read this. It's first of all beautiful, like such a pretty, pretty cover. I'm kind of bummed I didn't get it in hardback now. Like paperback is still super nice, but the hardback of this would have been beautiful. Um, but this has been on my wish list for a while. It is a romantic book. And I think it might be a retelling. I'm not sure what fairy tale though. Um, I can't remember, but I've heard such great things about this book. And I think it's a duology. So this series is meant to be amazing. And I need to read some more romantic. I can't get enough of it. So I picked this one up. I can't wait to start it. And I also got... Atlas 6. It's been so long since I got these books now. It's been like a week since I last filmed it. I can't remember what I actually got. Oh, okay. So I did get the Atlas 6. So I guess I'll get to know if it is what people say it is in terms of amazing or what the other half say in terms of not so good. Or am I thinking of the Zodiac Academy? I'm getting confused. The covers look quite similar. Um, but yeah, the Atlas 6 by Olive Blake. What is this about? Six extraordinary magicians, five chances to win, one secret society. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing the word enemies. I don't know if there's romance in this, but I've heard amazing things about this book and I'm such a sucker for just being like, I've heard this book is good, I'll buy it. And yeah, I saw it in Waterstones during that challenge, so I just picked it up. So this will be a very interesting read. And then I think I remember the last book that I got for this challenge, and I cannot wait to read it. The Inheritance Game. So again, this has been a very popular book on BookTube. This is about a girl who gets left so much money by a random stranger, and she doesn't know why. And then she has to earn the money somehow and I think there's quite a few romance options for her as well so a mystery romance yeah I think that's pretty much the vibe it's given mystery and romance uh so it says a billion dollar fortune billion dollar wow okay uh Avery has a plan keep her head down work hard for a better future then an eccentric billionaire dies leaving her almost his entire fortune. And no one, least of all Avery, knows why. A deadly game. Now she must move into the mansion she's inherited. It's filled with secrets and codes and the old man's surviving relatives, a family hell-bent on discovering why Avery got their money. Winner takes it all. Soon she is caught in the deadly game that everyone in this strange family is playing. So just how far will they go to keep their fortune? And this is part of the series. So there's like quite a few books in this series and I've heard great things. It's YA, so it should be quick and easy to read. Yeah, exciting. And then the books Toby got me for Valentine's Day, I will just go and get those quickly. So Toby also picked me up some books for Valentine's Day and he got me The Kite Runner by Khaled Hussain and I have been wanting to read this for a while. Also A Thousand Splendid Sons. I want to get into these kind of books more. Um, yeah, I'm excited to eventually try this. I just know that there's so many books I want to read that I don't know if I'll get around to it super, super quickly, but I know once I do, I'm gonna love it. This next book he's got me is literally a book I've been dying to read, but also I am so bad at starting so many series and not finishing them all. I need to stop that. So I don't think I'll get around to this book for a while because I need to finish all of this series I'm already reading. And then the next series after the ones I finished will be the Throne of Glass series. However, everyone, everyone has said how good Crescent City is, the House of Earth and Blood. And 
the new book just came out recently and there's like crazy 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 hype about that i was a bit bummed that they changed the front covers of these books and to get the original ones it's so expensive now but it's kind of grown on me i think it is a cute looking book to be fair um in hindsight i might have got it in paper no hardback um but i just can't wait to read it although another huge book sarah j mass goodness me how do you write this much um but i guess that's why you grow to love the characters so much because you just really get to know them so i'm excited to eventually one day get to this series i'm gonna give myself a goal of maybe the autumn by then hopefully i would have read all of the eight books in front of glass and finished the other series i'm reading currently so yeah that was really nice of him and the final book Toby got me was a bit of a surprise because it is on my TBR, but I'm not desperate to read it. But I've heard such great things about it. And it is Tomorrow, Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Oh, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. And literally so many people have spoken about how great this book is. I think it's about friendship and building some sort of game. And it's kind of got like lit fiction vibes. So... It's not a book I would typically pick up to read. However, I, I like that. I really want to challenge myself to read books that I don't normally read. So this will be an interesting one as well. And I have heard such great things about it. So yeah. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. It was so, so nice going for that cooking class. Honestly, the food was amazing. Me and Toby need to make that again ASAP. It was delicious. And it was just really nice going to a bookshop. I feel like I've not been to a bookshop in so long because I do so much shopping online. And you forget how nice it is just to browse the books in person. Um, yeah, so I really had a great, great weekend. Let me know what you think of this style of video. It was definitely intimidating filming a vlog style. And I think it kind of came across in the vlog because there's so much like montage footage and not a lot of like me holding the camera and talking and walking um because i just forgot really but it was fun to film so if you do like these styles of videos then i will be happy to film more and yeah i hope you enjoyed watching and i will see you in the next one have a lovely day bye guys